what kind of applications you can use and what kind of uh, things you can follow uh, in your day-to-day -day life to be secure. For example, uh, we just create password like for example my name so we should not use all these kinds of passwords we should make a strong password and we don't know like so we just add our mail ID to rest of the websites and we even don't know uh, what kind of data processing they are doing and what kind of breaches uh, happening in their companies or the way all our data are going so we teach all those things in our digital security training and we have recently launched a free speech tracker which tracks all the free speech violations across India. And you can also contribute to a free speech tracker and internet shutdown if you have another one. And we also have digital defender networks in which uh, we have a number of lawyers across India with, uh, so that can help you with the legal uh, advice and so many other factors if you need any kind of help from us. A litigation tracker to write all the litigation we are working on and OTV we write on a tracker with violence. We track all those things. So now I start with the need of self-hosting in non-profits. As we are non-profit, uh, so we need to think a lot of things like the weather is uh, uh, whether it's money factor, uh, whether it's scaling factor, uh, whether it's anything. So we need to think a lot. For example, if you go for uh, any kind of proprietary software, we need to pay uh, fees as per the users. If we purchase any license, it's based on the number of users you purchase from them. For example, if your organization is uh, having 10 to 15 employees, then you need to pay a heavy fees to them, around 15,000, 20,000. But if you offer free software or open source software, then you can just self host it on your server. The cost will be uh, a bit lower, and you will have full control over your data, privacy, and whatnot. One thing you can uh, I can give you an example. So, we host our ability scans. Uh, for our organization and we have all the control on our data. Uh, so one day when I was just uh, looking at the server because uh, I didn't have access earlier and I was a developer when, uh, but when I get the access to the server then uh, I saw that what kind of data uh, all those property softwares can see. If you create a on uh, any of the websites, for example Gmail or any property software you store your photo, you store your mails, they see everything, they have all the access. But you offer uh, but if you offer uh, open source software, then you have all the controls. You know what is happening on your server, how you can make it secure. I also uh, host a server for myself. It's a C5 for my file management system. Earlier I want you to use uh, the Google Photos to store all my files, but when I get to know that how heavily they are processing everything, whether it's my face documentation, whether it's my friend's friend documentation, it knows everything. Like if I ask who is written in my photo, like it, it, it will just show all the written photo related uh, in, in my all the photos. It's stored on Google Photos, right? But we can opt out from all these things if we opt for the self hosting and open source. So, here are challenges faced by non profits. But there are limited budget for infrastructure, lack of third party services, contact, concerns over data privacy uh, and security, dependence on routine software, financial constraints. So, what happens if a uh, uh, if a uh, day is happening in, in, in your office and, uh, and those government agencies ask for any such information from those companies, they will definitely provide it, right? Without asking even your consent. But if you are in your own control and you own your data, you have complete rights to or you have complete control on your all things. You can directly delete it or you can take some steps 
you have all the data or, or all the control is not provided to provide the data. So that will not be your content of your content, right? But in the properties of the it doesn't happen. They will just uh, they will just give all the information to the content and change to everyone, whomsoever asks, whomsoever force them, right? Yeah. So let's go to the uh, other slide. Why self-hosting? So greater control over data, improved security, ethical alignment, and resilient infrastructure. You can uh, always grow your infrastructure however you want. You can increase the number of CPU, you can increase the number of uh, storage you want in TVs. So for example, currently I am hosting only uh, two TV of server at my home to store all my photos, to store all my data. But I can always increase it, right? So here are a few benefits of self-hosting. As I already said, data honesty and privacy, cost saving, customization and flexibility. You can customize your application as per your use case. You may also edit the code if you want. So for example, if you want a different type of functionality to be added in your code, you may always uh, do that and open to uh, analyze all the logs, open to do everything you want, right? Like, uh, so for example, if I opt for a property software, okay, and I want to add a first LD, then I can only raise a request to the company that uh, we are facing these, these issues and please include all these updates from the next software updates or uh, whatever you can do for us. But when it comes to open source and free software, if you are a developer, then you can also try to uh, with such personalities and contribute to those uh, those softwares as well, right? So it always empowers us from whether it's security, whether it's uh, doing anything, or whether it's like whatever you want, I will say. So as I said in the starting, there is a running cost and basic plan for workspace like Zira for a uh, year for 15 employees. I have made a table like which compares all the uh, plans. So if you want to Google workspace, then we take 230 rupees for a month, a year in one hundred and fifty rupees, and for 15 employees, around 14,000 and 400 rupees. But what you can do is that you can self host all the alternatives of these in the open source. So for example, if you want to uh, opt out from the Google workspace, then you can self host your own mail server. You can purchase a high end server and self host things. Uh, so you can self host using the good alternative to select. We use like a option also that empowers all the chats, whatever you want to, and picks. And it's very similar and very good. Alternative of Slack. Jira, the data alternative called Taiga of Jira. So it also uh, it also provides you the same features and, and and similar functionalities to the Jira provides. So whatever you want the price, security and uh, and the control over you. Like it all takes a lot. If you think from a like uh, if you think it in detail as you say, right? Then it takes a lot. If you offer the property software. Keep in software solutions for non-profits, which we also use, which I also use individually for myself. Here is next cloud for file management, which you can Cell phones at your local device as well and use it in a local network when you go to home. If you have a spare device, I also have a blog which I have written that how you can cell phones to your uh, home server at your home if you have a spare device, or you can also use it from a spare mobile device, respite by like whatever you want. So you can expose all these applications. The next one for complete solution to the alternative of the Google workspace. You can get their Gmail, uh, sorry, like mail things, also you can set up. You can also set up the on the office, delivery office online. You can also uh, store your files there. Matrix, a good alternative and a end to end encrypted platform, which you can use for uh, chats and everything. Like, 
it's secure because uh, because it's end to end encrypted. We live as I already mentioned, main server, Tiger, and additional tools like Jitsi, Interpack on the office in next cloud. So we also use Jitsi at our office to host all our calls other than using Zoom or Meet because. We love to protect our data, we love to protect our privacy. So we always use JC. And the thing is like we also face so many issues many times. But we want uh, the data security to be on the top, other than just basic issues and access to the property software again. As I have already uh, explained in the next cloud, a self-hosted platform which shares uh, the file among your friends, among your colleagues, and character management it has all the collaboration, alternative to Google Drive, Dropbox, and Office 365. His infrastructure, like you can see on the sorry, here is the UI which you can see. I think it's coming here, so I don't know why it's happening. So it's matrix, it provides uh, your decentralized communication and alternative to select Microsoft Teams. You live uh, in an open source team chat platform that offers permission to track topics and uh, in a more structured and efficient way. With you live, all the discussions are in one place, you can search uh, from that you have all the data, all the control in yourself, all the security. And it's very nice, we use it in our day to day life at our office. Tiger about the alternative to Jira. So, it's not very really easy to self host everything and to say that yes, we self host. We also face so many challenges uh, during self hosting. We need a technical expertise, uh, we need to hire more people in terms of uh, like if you want to scale, if you want to uh, grow it further, we need to uh, spend more in terms of people, in terms of hiring people more, uh, so that we can sell force. So we are not paying more to the property software, we are paying even our employees. Like, they are also letting some kind of good thing like in terms of open source collaboration, contribution. They are also doing a lot. They are doing a lot of things also. So now we come to the conclusion and all to ask what we can do and what's the conclusion of all this. Empowerment through self-hosting. We can empower ourselves, our friends. Uh, with self hosting, we control, uh, we, we, we can have all the controls of all our privacy and security. Start with small things, as I started with self hosting just next cloud, and then self hosted, backrex, C5, uh, and a lot. Like, I have self hosted most of the applications, and for, for, for my individual use also, and my domination also. And engage and always talk with other people. Like if you join all these kind of community meetups or conferences, you can always talk to people, you can always learn. If you're facing some issue while self-hosting, you may also contact me and I like uh, I can help you with self-hosting. I can also help you clear your doubts and you can always collaborate with others. Join open source communities, collaborate with uh, other nonprofits for shared access and innovation. And that's all. Thank you for everyone listening. And we can connect with me and read the disclosure online. And you can also visit the website, yodi.com. If you want to see what all projects I have worked on, you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. Yodi is saying hi. Thank you. Thank you so much.